Hola guys, it's Taylor and today I'm going to be filming a apartment tour. If you didn't already see my previous video called the Luxury Empty Apartment Tour, I'll leave that link on the screen somewhere where you can go and check that out first. Where you can kind of see what my apartment looked like before I added things into it and what it looks like now. But yeah, I just want to put a disclaimer out there saying that I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I just kind of wanted to share what I have in my apartment and since it was so highly requested, I figured I would finally put this video out there. This is starting from the front door going over. From the front door going over, we have this closet by the entryway is what I like to call it. And inside of here, I didn't actually end up turning this into a coat closet like I originally planned. I actually went to Target and I bought these little shelves the apartment complex uses in here already. So it worked out perfectly for me. So I'll kind of get a little bit closer you can see what we got going on. So it is a little bit messy, considering this is the only closet space I really have to put everything in. So on the very, very top shelf, which you probably cannot see, yeah, way up there is where I keep all of my extra sheets, my extra comforter, extra blankets. I have a lot of blankets. I have an obsession with fuzzy blankets, so there's quite a lot up there. On the second shelf, I'm actually keeping all of my extra paper towels, Toilet paper over here. I have all of my like dishcloths that I use to wash dishes with. I have hand towels and then some little mop thingies as well for my little Swiffer. Moving down from the next shelf, this is what I call my cleaning section. <laughs> but yeah, cleaning supplies over here is Swiffers and broom pads that I can use on my Swiffer as well. This is what I like to call my doggy to go center. <laughs> So I'll move this. I have this little command hook over here that I keep my work backpack on. So I'm gonna move that all the way where you can kind of see. So back here I have a massive stockpile of doggy pads. This container from TJ Maxx inside of here it has Benji's current food. All his essentials. I don't want to go on too much of a rant, but yeah, that's basically how I store all of his stuff. This basket is from Target, and inside of here I have his like everything he needs. You know, you name it, it's probably in here. Thing too, too interesting down here. It is a little bit of a shit show, as I would like to say. Since it snows half of the year here, I have a pair of snow boots ready to go. Here, right here, which holds all of my duffel bags that I use for traveling back home. And then a few miscellaneous things that no one really cares about on the side of the closet. Here I have my TV. This is also my old apartment. It isn't as big as I would like it to be, but it's big enough to work. I have my Canon printer, which I received as one of my Christmas gifts this year. So that comes in handy. It also has a scanner on it, which is really convenient. Um, other big things that I can probably talk about would be still seen from a distance. I do have my PS3, which was one of my brothers. Here I have my Roomba. I don't really use too much anymore just because I have very long hair and it's very hard to clean out. So I don't use that a whole lot because it's a big process of buying filters and things like that to clean out in order to use it. So on top of here, I also have a telephone, which is really funny. I don't use this as a telephone. It's actually a doorbell for downstairs. So if people come and visit and they know my room number, they can call up and tell me from downstairs that they want me to come and open the door because it does have a lot of security in this apartment. You have to have a key fob in order to get in the front door. <laughs> so that's really nice. That's there. Also over here, I have this flower. Roses are my favorite, so that's pretty nice. Um, I already explained that. I already explained that. Moving down, I have a shelf down here, which I have printer paper. Not one, but two boxes of Cards Against Humanity. I have the original, and I think this is the absurd box. So these are really fun to play at parties. The AT&T Universal, which I can play like on demand and rent movies and things like that, so that's cool. I barely ever use it, but it was part of my internet service, so I got it for free. Moving down, I have this little bin. This is from Walmart. How bougie. <laughs> and inside of here is where I keep all my electronics. So I have extra HDMI cords, anything I can have, like stupid things like freaking lanterns. I don't know why I need it, but I have it. It's in there. <laughs> this cubby over here, I have all of my books. 
So the bottom half is like for my school, like I have Shot by Shot, I have my producer's book, The Hollywood Standard, which is a script writing book. And then up here is mainly like poetry books. I like quotes, it's one thing about me that you should probably know. I love quotes. I put them all over my Instagram, so you know. These two will eventually be full of the books. That's that. You kind of start to see my living area. So it is have floor to ceiling windows, which is one thing I love about this apartment. They have these um, shutters, which are really nice. You can shut them all the far you want to have some privacy. Especially at night, I've learned the hard way that um, if you're outside and the lights are on inside of here or the TV's on, they can see you from outside because the tinted windows are only really effective during the day. So I learned that out the hard way, so I do use these quite a lot as far as the shutters. The carpet that I'm standing on right now is from Lowe's. The couch itself is actually pretty small and might look bigger, but it's not that big at all. It's not the comfiest thing in the world, so I don't really recommend for sleeping purposes. And I didn't really like the color of it either. I'm not going to sit here and lie. The couch is in works. I'm not a fan of it, but it was expensive and I have to keep it because I need a couch. It does the job. It's good to sit on. It's good to eat on occasionally. Like watch your Netflix shows. It's from Pier 1. It's actually dark blue. I ordered dark gray, but it's definitely dark blue. Pillows, throw pillows. These are from TJ Maxx. I bought them in a set of two, I believe. Or there seems to be my bedroom, but now I'm here. They're more purposeful in here. I also have a throw blanket. Throw blanket is from Target. This three sectional little compartment thing. Pins, pencils, expo markers, markers, sharpies, anything like that is down here, writing utensils. Up here I have post it notes. <laughs> that was really loud. I have post-it notes to write my grocery lists on, which they're actually sticky notes, so that's really nice. I can stick it on the wall here, stick it on the refrigerator. I don't do that a lot of times, but they normally stay on the pad. I have a flashlight in case I need to knock someone out. JK, <laughs> I don't need to knock anyone out, but yeah, that's really neat. Third one up here, I have a, like my camera charger, I have tape. This is just like the miscellaneous section. I also have crayons, fun fact, you wanna come color with me? Gotcha, fam. The right side of the shelving unit, I have a chair bow. My keys up here, I have my lanyard for school, which also gets me in and out of the building because it has one of those key card things. I do have my wallet down here, and it's really nice because if I just need my wallet or just need my keys, I can separate the two. And right beside here, really nice, another floor to ceiling window with shutters where no one can, you know, watch you walk around pantsless. That's, that's a really obnoxious sound. I don't know if that sounds good, but here's my thermostat. It does work with an app. Fun fact, pretty cool, not cool for me. The person that lived here before me still has the app downloaded and still sometimes randomly controls my AC unit. I don't know how that works. I don't know why. I haven't really figured that completely out, but I'm okay with it. I have it kind of figured out with the touch screen. I don't ever use the app. It's nice. It's good to be not, not crazy app crazy, I guess, sometimes. Up here. <laughs> You can put your internet box in, but my internet box is actually too big to fit in here. So, this is, I don't know what the purpose of this is. It's just kind of chilling. It's chilling. Straight chilling. As you enter into the kitchen, I do have this pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool whiteboard, which is erasable. It's really nice because I have all of my classes written up here and what times I need to go to. I also put things like what I need to work, how much I need to save, when I need to pay my energy bill, when I need to pay my light bills, that kind of thing. All of this is written up here. Anything interesting I need to know is up here. And right beside it, I do have these Polaroids I took at this Christmas party this December. So I have those. That's the only Polaroids I really have, but I thought it was really nice to keep them, displayed on the wall. The fridge right here is nothing fancy. Up here is all of my fridge space. Down here, it has two compartments. I have this section right here, which I keep my ice. I have ice cream and things like that on the top and mozzarella sticks. And then down here is more like meats and things and Texas toast. Dishwasher. So this is really nice. I use this a lot. It comes in handy. I have a Keurig up here as well as a paper towel holder from Target. My tea on the second shelf. 
And I do have my Yeti cups and like my, my blender, my neutral bullets in here for when I make smoothies. So yeah, it's just a bunch of random shit piled in this cabinet of food. This is food. I have my sink, two things of Dawn dish soap. This one's like completely empty almost, but I still have it. And then I have this one. It smells like apples. I have storage bags, cling wrap, dog, not dog food, dog treats, dishwasher, little um, cleaning things. And I think that's about it for down there. Corner, I have my cute little Willis. Oh my god, his leg just fell off. <laughs> cute little Willis. He's supposed to be a mandrake, and he was supposed to have a scarf on, but it kind of looks like he's strangling himself. So you know, it is what it is. Say hello, Willis. Hello. I have a plastic bag right now on top of my microwave, which has my dog's medicine in it at the moment because he is sick. So I have that in there. Um, beside it, I do have these cute little treat containers. I don't know why it's not wanting to focus. Yeah, these cute little treat containers. So the bigger one is what I hold his grainies in. It says good dog on it. This is from Petco if you're wondering. Has the little cork top. It matches the aesthetic of the <laughs> if that's even a thing. And then the smaller one is also from Petco, it matches it. This one says live, love, plus eat treats with a little paw print. Inside of here he has all of his um, milk bones and healthier little biscuit treats. This room right here is from TJ Maxx, once again. It's big, it's fluffy, it's blue, it's my favorite color. Electric stove, I believe. It has six eyes, so that's really nice. I don't know why I would need six. That seems a bit ridiculous, but there's six. Hand towels right here. These are from Marshalls. I think Marshalls is affiliated with TJ Maxx, which is sad because everything I've been mentioning is almost from TJ Maxx. I keep my pans in for cooking purposes, like for pizzas and casserole dishes and brownies and just a bunch of pans are down there. My pots are in here, so all of my kitchen pots and cutting boards. I have a drawer of more utensils and things to take things out of the oven. I have scissors in here. Really cool, utensil holder, vase from TJ Maxx. All of my receipts and bills and things like that. I don't know why, I have an obsession, so I literally have this bag on top of my counter with all of my bills and receipts and things in a Mad Cat bag on the side of my counter. Love that. I mean, it's kind of organized, but not really. Not really. I would like to say not at all. Cups, plastic cups, beer cups, slash Yeti cups at the top. Spices. There's not a lot of them. <laughs> Eating. Things to eat off of. <laughs> the corner one over here is normally has more stuff in it, but it has my measuring stuff in my cooking bowls and strainers. So this is definitely a really multi-purposeful area. I do all of my homework here, I eat dinner here. Um, so yeah, it just does come in handy. These bar stools right here are once again from TJ Maxx. I love them. They're like this perfect like off-white color, which isn't the best for eating, but I love the color. Fun fact about this table, it both has wheels on it and it is adjustable to whatever height you want. So I believe this is one of the highest heights you can get it at if you wanted to stand up and like do tool work or homework in my case, things like that. It's really nice, really multi-purposeable. I often roll this into my living room and eat my dinner on my couch. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of doing that actually. So when I'm not doing that, it does stay stationary here and I can eat off of it. It is a tool table, it's by Husky. You can buy it at Home Depot or your local load store. I have a flower arrangement also from TJ Maxx. So all my electronics are sitting here. Across from the maintenance closet is my laundry closet. It does really give me like beachy vibes with the whole ventilation system going on here. Love it, quite literally. My washer, my dryer, fabric softener. One for my clothes, one for my towels. It's lavender scented to prevent bed bugs. I have shouted out to get rid of any stains. And then my Tide bathroom up here as you can see I turn this into a little towel storage area just because no other closets in here can hold everything that I need and I feel like it is a common thing to keep in your bathroom so I don't feel bad about it I do have a hanging rack which I normally hang all of my clothes that can't be dragged such as my Lulu leggings 
On the top of my counter, I have two of these jars from TJ Maxx. I bought them separately. They both had Q-tips in them, but I turned one of them into my scrunchie slash hair tie holder. I do have a necklace just chilling here. It doesn't belong in here, but when I take a shower, I take it off. <laughs> Hand soap. Another like almost like cookie jar that came with loofahs in it, so that's nice. Hand towel and my mini Google Home where I can listen to music while I am taking a bath slash shower. This drawer has anything from Benadryl to Band-Aids to allergy medicine. I also have like chapsticks in here for some reason. I have lavender oil, tea tree oil, thermometers, Halsey cough drops, Nisporin, you name it, it's probably in here. The drawer to my left, I keep makeup wipes, hairbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, all of my everyday essentials, also chapstick inside of here. My cabinets I turned into kind of a little storage area as well. It doesn't look organized, but I promise it is. So yeah. And as far as the shower, nothing special. It's just a shower. It's not super organized, but I mean, it's livable. Another one of my favorite little fluffy rugs. This one is gray. Also from the same place, TJ Maxx. It's a little bit smaller. One of my favorite things about my room is my vanity section. Right when you walk in, beside my vanity, I have my dirty clothes basket. It's a hot plus cold fan. I forget what the actual name of it is, but I live by that thing. It's my favorite thing ever. I think it's the mom dressing table. It has one drawer. So inside of the drawer, oh my gosh, I just knocked your Inside of the drawer, I have a whole bunch of folders with all of my financial things, and then I have a folder for Benji, I have a folder for my insurance, everything like adulting is down here, and I also have like extra pens, calculators, envelopes, I have a little director's notebook that I like to use when I direct. The mirror is from Target, I have my jewelry in the first half. And the second half is all of my everyday makeup. On top of here, I have um, setting sprays, rose water, my favorite perfume. These two containers right here were actually originally candles uh, that I used up, but they are these really cool shape. But inside of here, I have makeup brushes that I use every day. The stool is from Marshalls. The lamp is from TJ Maxx, which not everyday makeup brushes. I have the Naked 3 palette just chilling up here. My Google Home is always here, as well as my Numi curling wand. Benji's cage. So he has a potty pad always in here, his food and water, his Christmas doggy blanket, his bed, all of his toys I try to keep in here to keep them out <laughs> when he's not using them. Because <laughs> he has a lot of them, as you can tell. They're just kind of stacked up. I feel like I'm gonna keep mentioning my old apartment a lot in this video and I do apologize, but if you didn't see any clips from my old apartment, I never made an apartment tour because I never really felt like it was home to me because I lived with a roommate and I barely, I wasn't happy where I was at. But moral of the story, I didn't have a headboard at the time and I saw this like idea off of like a house decorating show that said that if you hang drapes over your like bed, it makes it look more aesthetically pleasing. So I have two drapes right here. There is no window behind it. I have had so many people, let me tell you, come into my room and open up the blinds and you think there's a window there and there's not. And I hate that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm fooling you. It's not a window. It's supposed to look aesthetically pleasing. Does it? I don't know. <laughs> hey, can you say hi? You want to say hi? Say hi! Storages from Ikea. I don't think I really need one of them. It'd be nice to have two. In the top drawer, I keep essentials. The second drawer is more makeup. The third drawer is all of my hair slash body stuff. It's quite a mess. It used to be organized. Now it's not. It's just kind of thrown in. Fourth drawer is electronics. The fifth drawer is a combination of both makeup and random stuff that we don't want to talk about. On my nightstand, I have another one of these lamps that matches the one you saw from over there on my dressing table. I know. It reminds me of like a cake holder or something, but inside of here I keep scrunchies, I have my birth control, earrings, chapstick, anything I reach for, hair out, or I'm taking my jewelry off, or when I wake up to take my birth control, things like that. I like to keep things like that in here, and it doesn't look too 
bag since it does have like colorful scrunchies in it. It is kind of aesthetically pleasing to be like a jewelry slash other thing dish. So I really appreciate this in my life. I really do. Back here I have my two go-to essentials. The Tatcha water cream. I use this every night before I go to bed. I have my aromatherapy which is lavender. Last but certainly not least I have my two closets. I keep my purse, my Michael Kors purse when I'm not using it. So it's just kind of hung there. So I'll bring you closer. Really what it looks like on an everyday basis. So I'm sorry about that. It's not as organized as I'd like it to be, but it's as good as it's gonna get. I have this rod that went all the way across. These shelves actually weren't there when I first moved in. I kind of got my dad to add them once again from Home Depot or Lowe's. I got these shelves. So on the middle shelf right here, I like to keep all my t-shirts. I have a lot of t-shirts, as you can tell. I like to color coordinate them as much as I can. So as you can tell, I have like whites and then random colors at the bottom. I have blues and reds, grays, and then blacks. And then there's a random color at the bottom. I don't know why. And then over here, tucked in this corner, is all of my workout sweatproof material over here. So I have quite a lot of those and also long sleeve thermal shirts are over here. The third shelf, beanies. I have two beanies that I wear on the everyday basis. Basket of scrunchies. I love scrunchies. My best friend bought a lot of these, so I love you. I appreciate you. These are all your scrunchies, and they it's really nice to keep them in my closet because I can pick out a Pacific scrunchie to match my outfit for the day, so that's nice. I feel like a visco girl, but I promise you I'm not. The third shelf is supposed to be empty, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. It's not always empty. So, right now, I always run out of hangers when I do all my laundry. Luckily, a lot of my laundry is done, so <laughs> I don't have a lot of spare hangers available, so. These are sweatshirts. I have a lot of sweatshirts. If you can't tell by just the side of my closet, I own a lot of sweatshirts and pullovers and hoodies because I live in the north and that's what I live in. But these are the ones I like to sleep in. So there's two right here, kind of like pajama sweatshirts. And in the back there is all of my colored leggings that I hardly ever wear. I two baskets, one containing swimsuits. I have an obsession with swimsuits, so that's that. Second wicker basket has all of my Nike shorts. All of my leggings, jeans, dress pants are down here. Any pants, basically. More of story. So I have it color coordinated on these um, gray hangers. That's that, and also a hanger specifically for Lululemon bags. On one of my closet doors, I like to have an appreciation wall. So everyone that has ever sent me a letter, given me a card, written me a cute little drawing or a note, anything that makes me feel appreciated, I like to stick on this little door right here. There's not a lot going on, but these are some of the things that make me feel the happiest inside. Across from my pants situation, I have this three container storage unit at the bottom. Bras, bralettes, sports bras, sock drawer, which is overfilling by the moment, and underwear drawer, which is also overfilling by the moment. <laughs> I'm obsessed with socks and underwear, I'm not gonna lie to you. Inside of this little cubby here, I have all of my tops. I have another one of those wicker baskets at the top for all of my shorts and things. And then the very, very bottom, which you cannot see, is all of my shoes, which I don't think you can see that because of how dark it is in there. A bunch of stuffed animals over here. I actually only have three. I don't know why I said a bunch. I have a child, okay? I have a monkey. I have a bear and a giant bear, mainly given to me by my best friends and exes. <laughs> oh my god. Taylor, really, I hate you sometimes. That being said, my links will be listed on the screen if you want to check me out on social media. I'll see you when I see you. Love you all. Bye! Toodles!